Hello everyone, we will continue the topic TMG events and in the previous video, we understood the full meaning of event and you can navigate to TMG events through SC11 or SC54 transaction code. Now, firstly, we will take a requirement and in that requirement, we will full or we will make use of TMG event. Now, what is the requirement? I will firstly go to SM30 transaction code. You all know we can maintain data into the tables using SM30 transaction code. I will click on to edit or maintain button in your system. It might be maintain button. Now, what is the requirement from the customer? Previously, what you did, you put order number, you put order date, payment mode, total amount and currency. Now, what customer is saying? I will not put order date. Order date should populate automatically depends upon the system date. Suppose simple example. Today, I am inserting 10 order numbers to the table. So whatever the today's date is there, it will automatically appear into order date. I will not fail. Suppose tomorrow. Tomorrow, customer is filling 20 order numbers into this table. So whatever the tomorrow's date is there, it should reflect automatically into the order date column. Just see, previously, we are giving the order date. Now, customer is saying no. Whenever I will create a new entry, whatever the Today's date is there, it should automatically come into order date column. I will not do this particular thing. Now just understand. Whenever we are clicking on to new entries button, yes, we are performing action. So at that time, event will trigger and we will use that event to write the logic. This is our requirement. I will again repeat the requirement. What is the requirement? What customer is saying? Whenever customer will insert new order numbers, yes, the customer will not fill the order date. Order date will populate automatically depends upon the system date, depends upon the today's date. Suppose today is 2nd August or 3rd August. So the date will reflect automatically. Now, firstly, we will make this column non-editable. See, because in this column, customer will not put the date. So I will make this column non-editable so that no one can change the date. It will reflect automatically. So firstly, we will make this order date column non-editable. Anyways, in the future, this particular thing will play a vital role because we have module pool programming in the future. At that time, we will study so many things, how to make column editable, non-editable. But at this point of time, if I want to make this particular column non-editable, non-editable, how, how I will make? Because we will not fill the value into this column. As of now, we can fill the value into this column. Now, value will populate automatically. So, we need to make this column non-editable. So, how you can make this column non-editable? So, what we will do? I will simply, simply go to system. You can go to status. System status. So, just 
this is your screen this is your screen so what is the screen number this is the screen number double click on the screen number as of now you can go in that way in the future we have the big topic module full programming at that time you will understand all those things so at this point of time how we went we went for system status we double clicked on the screen and then go to change board and click on to this layout button and screen painter will open this is called as screen painter and in the module pool topic you will learn fully what is screen painter now this is our order date order date how we can make this non editable just double click whenever you will double click one pop up window will open this kind of pop up window will open click on to program this program tab this we have three tabs here dictionary program display click on to program double click on order date one pop up will open and click on to program now just see it is not our input field now we cannot go for input here it's only only output field so just remove this checkbox have you seen this particular column becomes non editable now just do not do anything here just close this just close this screen painter close this screen painter or you if you want to save you can save close here now from here itself we will activate do not forget to activate else changes will not reflect and you can see our screen is active i will go to back button i will close this now people will say i make it non editable but still it is showing editable you just need to come again come to sm30 or put the transaction code sm30 and go to edit button or click on to maintain button and have you seen this column is non editable now if i will click on to new entries button also just see this column is fully non editable we will write the logic to fill the value of order date automatically so what is the summary of this video up to this level in this video we took the requirement that customer will not fill the order date but customer is saying whatever the on what date i am filling the order numbers that date should automatically come into the order date column and we all know whenever you are clicking on to new entries button you are performing action so at that time event will trigger and we will write the logic into that event anyways that part is in the upcoming video now based upon that requirement we want to make this order date column non editable because it is not editable now because we will not fill that date it will appear automatically so how we make this particular column non editable we went to system status we simply simply double clicked on the screen we went to change mode and we clicked on to layout button whenever you are clicking on to layout button screen painter will open just double click go to this program tab and remove this input field check box and nothing just activate the screen after that 
and come to SM30 again, and you will see that particular column is non editable Now, in the next video, we will simply, simply use the event for the new entries and we will write a logic to populate the value of order table. That part we will continue in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.